the number one question I get right now is what is the market like? Is it like a never ending upward trajectory of home prices or has it fallen into the depths of despair where no one's going to ever make any money off of their house ever again? Let me give you two pictures. Early 2022 was like a high school house party gone awry. Summer 2022 was like launching off the sand dunes of Little Sahara. So let me explain. Early 2022 was like a high school a high school kid whose parents went out of town. So he decides he's going to throw a raging party. He invites everyone. People show up and things get out of hand really fast. Vases are broken. Contrabands everywhere. Stains on the carpet. The music's too loud. The, the cops are called. The random party goers are having an awesome time. Best party ever. The kid who lives there is not having a good time anymore. And he just wants the party to be over in early 2022, the sellers were the random party goers having a great time and doing whatever they wanted with no consequences. Just like Will Ferrell in that movie, Old School. Did you or did you not have a good time at the party? I had an awesome time. And the kid who lived there, and that was the buyers in early 2022. It was not fun for them and they knew they were gonna have to pay for this. So summer 2022 hits, rates are going up, pundits are claiming we're in a bubble just like 2008, and we have a slight increase in inventory. It was, this, this was like driving through the sand dunes of Little Sahara in Northwest Oklahoma. Little Sahara is, it, it's like straight out of a movie based in, in the deserts of Egypt. There's these massive sand hills that, that nearly go vertical and you can't see what's on the other side. And there's people out there on dirt bikes and dune buggies and all sorts of uh, four wheel drive vehicles. Because it's straight sand out there and the hills are nearly vertical, to get to the top, you have to like full throttle the sucker. But what happens when you reach the top of a hill at full throttle and you can't tell if it drops off 300 feet on the other side? You either have to full send it and pray that there's not a huge drop off on the other side and somebody has a camera, recording all of this or you anticipate the top of the hill and you kill the throttle at just the right time right before the top and you come to a gentle and safe stop at the top of the hill this is what was happening in the summer of 2022 people were were full throttle speeding up the sand dune prices were going vertical but people were also trying to anticipate where the top of that price hill was and if it dropped off on, into the abyss on the other side People got to mid-July and they let off the throttle in anticipation of the top of that hill and the drop off on the other side. Because as a buyer, you don't want to launch into the air with nowhere to land on the other side. So what happened? Did we drop off into the abyss? Summer's over. No, we did not drop off to the abyss. Um, we saw that the other side, we got to the top and we saw that the other side had a slight drop off, more like a 10 foot drop versus the pundits anticipated 300 foot freefall. Inventory went up sharply at the end of July and it freaked everybody out, but then it stabilized. So what we're seeing now is there's more options for buyers. Sellers can't ask for whatever price they want. Some homes are sitting quite a while, but there's still a lot of homes that are selling in just a few days. So it's a more balanced market. This is a, this is a good thing. Buyers that launched over the hill with no regard for their own personal safety will get slightly injured, but they're going to survive. Those that were more cautious and eased over the hill will land smoothly with little to no injury. And those that went up the hill and then balked and turned have another chance and they know what's on the other side now. So that's the answer to the question. What's the market like? Are we free falling? No, we've stabilized.